Wondering if you could get fit in just 15 minutes a day? Welcome to the revolution of fitness. The concept of a 15-minute workout might seem like a pipe dream, but in reality, it's a game changer. Many of us are wrapped in the misconception that we need to spend countless hours in the gym to see visible results. But what if I told you that's not the case? The key is not the duration, but the intensity of your workout. It's about pushing your limits, challenging your body and stepping out of your comfort zone, all within the span of 15 minutes. It's about focusing on exercises that target multiple muscle groups, ensuring maximum results within minimum time. Imagine this, a workout that fits into your busy schedule, a routine that's manageable yet effective. So, are you ready for a change? Stay tuned to discover how you can transform your body and mind in just 15 minutes a day. So, why 15 minutes? Let's delve into the science behind it. 15 minutes might not seem like much, but when it comes to high-intensity workouts, it's actually an optimal amount of time. The human body has an amazing ability to adapt and improve, and it's during these short, intense bursts of exercise that we see the most significant changes. These workouts push your body into the anaerobic zone, a state where it's working so hard that it can't produce enough oxygen to sustain the effort. This forces your body to draw upon stored energy, boosting your metabolism and helping burn fat even after your workout is over. Moreover, intense workouts like these also help build muscle. The strain you put on your muscles during these 15 minutes triggers a repair process, leading to muscle growth. Now that you understand why 15 minutes can be magic, let's move on to the workout itself. Prepare yourself for a power-packed 15-minute workout designed to ramp up your fitness. Let's break it down, shall we? Our workout routine is divided into three distinct five-minute sections. The warm-up, the high-intensity interval training or HIIT, and finally, the cool-down. Each segment plays a vital role in achieving your fitness goals. First up is the warm-up. This is more than just a preamble to the main workout. This five-minute section is designed to gradually increase your heart rate and circulation, preparing your body for the more strenuous exercise to come. It's all about loosening up those muscles and joints, waking up your cardiovascular system and mentally preparing yourself for the workout. It helps to prevent injuries, so don't skip it. Next, we have the main event, the High Intensity Interval Training, also known as HIIT. This is where the magic happens. It's a five-minute burst of intense exercise, designed to really get your heart pumping and your muscles working. The idea is to alternate between short, max-effort bursts of speed and recovery periods to trigger a metabolic response that burns fat both during and after the workout. It's tough, it's challenging, but it's also incredibly effective. Finally, we have the cool-down. This is your time to gradually bring your heart rate back down to its resting state. It's just as important as the warm-up and the high height. The cool-down helps to reduce muscle soreness and stiffness, and it allows your body to recover and adapt to the exercise. It's about stretching out those hard-worked muscles and replenishing your body. Each one of these stages is crucial for maximizing the benefits of your workout, and skipping any of them could negate those benefits or worse, lead to injuries. Now that you know the structure, let's get into the specifics of the workout. Every great workout begins with a warm-up. Now this isn't an arbitrary tradition, it's a crucial process to awaken your muscles, get your heart rate up and, most importantly, prevent injury. So let's talk about how to warm up effectively. Start with some dynamic stretches. These are stretches where you're moving as you stretch. Think about leg swings, arm circles and torso twists. This type of stretching increases flexibility and mobility, priming your muscles for the workout ahead. Next, move on to some low-intensity exercises. This could be a light jog on the spot, jumping jacks, or even some bodyweight squats. The idea here is to gradually increase your heart rate and blood flow, getting your body ready for the more intense exercises to come. Remember, a well-executed warm-up can enhance your performance and make your workout more effective. So, don't skip it. With your body fully prepped, it's time to dive into the high-intensity interval training. Ready to sweat? Let's explore the high height portion of our 15-minute workout. High Intensity Interval Training, or high height is a workout method that alternates between intense bursts of activity and fixed periods of less intense activity, or even complete rest. It's a fantastic way to burn fat, build muscle, and get the most out of a short workout. Let's kick things off with a classic, burpees. 
To do a burpee, start in a standing position, then drop into a squat, kick your feet back into a plank, lower your chest to the floor, press up into a push-up, jump your feet in towards your hands, then leap up as high as you can. It's a full body exercise that gets your heart pumping and your muscles working. Next, we have high knees. This exercise is a bit like running on the spot, but with a twist. You'll bring your knees up to waist height with each step, pumping your arms as if you're sprinting. This exercise targets your core and improves cardiovascular fitness. Moving on, we have mountain climbers. Start in a high plank position, then bring one knee towards your chest, and then switch, bringing the other knee towards your chest. It's a bit like running horizontally. This exercise strengthens your core and burns a lot of calories. Our final exercise in this HIIT workout is jumping jacks. Start by standing straight, then jump your feet out while swinging your arms above your head, and jump back to the starting position. This simple but effective exercise raises your heart rate and targets various muscle groups. Remember, the key to high height is pushing yourself during those high-intensity intervals. Your heart should be pounding, your muscles should be burning, and you should be sweating. That's when you know you're doing it right. Hyatt workouts are an excellent way to burn fat and build muscle in a short amount of time. They're challenging, but they're also incredibly rewarding. You'll feel the burn during the workout, and you'll feel the benefits long after it's over. With your heart rate high and your muscles working, let's wind down with a cool down. After that intense workout, it's time to cool down. Cooling down is as vital as warming up. It brings your heart rate and breathing back to resting levels gradually, preventing dizziness. Now, let's start with some stretches. First, a forward bend. Stand tall, breathe in, and as you breathe out, bend forward from your hips, keeping your back straight. Hold this for about 20 seconds. This stretch is fantastic for your hamstrings and lower back. Next, a quad stretch. Stand tall, bend one knee, and grab your foot behind you, keeping your thighs together. Hold for 20 seconds on each side. This is great for your quadriceps. Lastly, we'll do a shoulder stretch. Reach one arm across your body and gently pull it closer with the other arm. Hold for 20 seconds on each side. These simple movements will help your body recover and maintain flexibility. Remember, consistency is key in seeing and feeling the benefits of these workouts. And there you have it. A complete 15-minute workout designed for maximum results. Congratulations on completing the 15-minute workout. As we wrap up, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've been on. We've explored the magic of 15 and how it can dramatically reshape our fitness routine. A 15-minute workout, as we've learned, is a powerful tool that can help us shed unwanted weight while building lean muscle. It's not about spending hours in the gym, it's about making every second count. We've delved into the structure of a 15-minute workout, breaking it down into three key stages. The warm-up, the high-intensity interval training, and the cool-down. Each stage has its unique role and importance, and together they form a comprehensive workout that targets every aspect of your fitness. The warm-up, as we've seen, prepares our bodies for the workout ahead, getting our heart rates up and our muscles ready for action. Then comes the high-intensity interval training, or HIIT, which is where the magic happens. This is where we push our limits, burn calories and build strength. And finally, the cool-down, which allows our bodies to recover and prepares us for the next workout. But it doesn't end there. For those of you who are looking to supercharge your results, there are links in the pinned comment that can give your fitness journey an extra boost. These resources have been instrumental in my own journey, helping me lose 15 kilograms in 12 weeks. Incorporating a 15-minute workout into your fitness routine is not just about losing weight or building muscle. It's about embracing a healthier lifestyle. It's about pushing your limits. And it's about proving to yourself that you can achieve your fitness goals, no matter how busy your schedule might be. So give it a try. Make the most of your 15 minutes. Push yourself harder than you ever have before. And remember, every small effort counts. Every bead of sweat, every aching muscle is a step towards a healthier, fitter you. Remember, it's not about the time you spend working out, but the effort you put into it. Here's to getting fit in 15.